Okay, you greasy little fetishists, here's what we're gonna do today. This is a problem you will want to have. You may not know this, but your ProMaster odometer ceases working at around 622,000 miles. I'll put the exact number on the screen. Why 622,000 miles? What's magical? The answer is that's a million kilometers. And for unknown reasons, the, the cluster just isn't programmed to display more than six digits, um, the, uh, which would be great. It'd go to 10 million. But um, it should be noted that the computer still knows the actual miles. Both the engine computer has a mileage counter on it and the body control module knows the actual miles. So if you have a fancy scanner, you can read that out and know what the actual miles is are on the vehicle, regardless of what it says on the odometer. The odometer can also be reprogrammed. So, but that's not your problem. Your problem is it's, 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 it's got six dash lines and it's not incrementing the, the miles and you need the miles to write off the taxes. Cause, cause yeah, cause you need to do that. So what's the fix? Well, the fix is I'm gonna show you. All right, what's she do? Well, it's very simple how to swap this out. When you do, your odometer will show the reading that this odometer came from. This came from one of my vans, which I have affectionately called Flabby back in December, and it had 553,743 miles on it. I swapped this one preemptively because we go more than to 622 in the course of a given year. So uh, it was the end of the year and it's a good time for taxes. So I swapped it out at the, towards the New Year's there. But as you can see, very simple, one connector and it's even pinned on the bottom. Very simple to swap out. Now, once you swap it out, the, prop, the only problem you'll have is that it will show the mileage from whatever cluster it came out of. In this case, if I were to put this one in, 531, whatever, but it would still continue to increment correctly and all the gauges would work correctly the odometer itself will be flashing because flashing is uh, the computer's way of, it's like a check engine light for the body control module. Um, the way to get rid of the flashing is to go to a dealer or a shop that has WeTech and reauthorize this instrument panel cluster. Essentially tell the body computer that we've replaced the instrument cluster and or program the odometer. What you would do, I suppose, is program your odometer to go from 622 to 222 and then it would, you know, and all the numbers would be the same. You would just add 400,000 to your calculations at any point. But regardless, I am fine living with the flashing. It doesn't bother me because it still works. But many people get upset about such things. And hey man, that's their business. I'm not here to tell you that you don't like the flashing. The fix is quite simple. You're gonna replace the odometer cluster or the instrument cluster, the instrument panel, IPC instrument panel cluster with one from a junkyard or a rec van or whatever. These are very easy to find at junkyards, which I will show you how to do. Okay, to find your cluster and all your used junkyard parts, car-part.com. I believe I've mentioned that in almost every one of my videos. This is a junkyard search engine. It'll give you this dialog. They're all the same, 14 through 21. If you hit R, it'll pull up. ProMaster, the weight doesn't matter, as you know. Select part, let's try SP for speedo. Spare tire, speed, I just saw it. Speedometer, also see it's okay. And uh, sort them by distance from me, 44203. Cluster in Canada market and US market. Okay. Over here on the right is the distance in, in miles, so you can see there's a lot of them. If I go to the bottom of the page, there's 27 pages of them in this country. You can see what it says, a speedo cluster uh, for a 17, and you'll see the other years that fit it as it goes through. Obviously, they're generic to all years. Some will have a picture and a description, some won't. Some will show the, my, the actual mileage left over on there, some won't. You, and here you see the U.S. prices, 85. Find the cheapest one because they're all the same, and what do you care? Um, I have found them for as little as 50 bucks. There's two for 75 and so on. These are so shippable, 60 bucks, um, 54 bucks, 60, 51, and so on. You, um, and that's 50 miles from me in Youngstown, so that's, like, not very far. You, what was I going to say? Uh, it's, a, it's a part that's so easy to throw in a box and ship to you. You won't have any problem. You get any junkyard in the country to ship it to you for a nominal shipping fee. And that is how you find the replacement cluster. Okay, how to swap it over. Super simple. Here's your T25, right? T25? Yes. There is a bolt. There is a bolt. There may be a bolt. Right up on the chien will of course be difficult to show. It's recessed. T25 Torx, or some people say Torx, T-O-R-X. 
I can feel that it's seated in there, T25. One there, and one on the other side of the cluster. Oops, not boring. There's another one there. Once you do that, this eyebrow piece will come off. I'm not gonna do it on this one because this one doesn't need it, but I have the demonstrator of all demonstrators to show you. Okay, this is a van we, uh, we have at the shop we call Smashy for obvious reasons and uh, pretty straightforward. It was very cheap. I bought it actually just for the airbags, but I've been stripping valuable parts off it for years. Your cluster sits like, sits like that and you can see the two pins go down on the thing. Those are just located pins like that and it's retained by the two nuts there uh, for the eyebrow piece. Once the eyebrow is off, you can see. Can you see? Can I let you see? Yes, there. There's a screw there. And a screw there. Like there, 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 there. Or there, whatever. You'll figure that out. How dumb are you? Uh, I believe it's a Phillips, but I honestly can't remember because uh, I can't remember. And then uh, once you take that, those two screws out, boink, out comes your cluster off the pins and Bob's your uncle. Yes, you can see that the eyebrow piece seats in like there and drops down and the two nuts hold it in. Pretty straightforward. Anyway, then your cluster comes out and you've got but one connector on the back of it, which is this. Jesus, this is difficult with one hand. Okay, which is this. It only goes in, I can demonstrate this, but not with two hands, but clearly it only goes in one way and, it, and that locks it in, so that will release it. Once you push it in and push it over to lock, you'll figure that out. How dumb are you? I, you know, I can't be. Oh my God, I've got a caught. All right, take that one out, put the new one in, put it back in, two more screws. How easy is that? By the way, you need any parts? We got a few. And that's it, you little freaks. That's how you replace your cluster at 621 some odd thousand miles. I should have mentioned that you probably should disconnect the battery, the negative terminal of the battery before you do it. You don't have to, but it's probably a good idea. Have we learned everything? Is that is that it? Okay, thanks for watching. Love you.